everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression, the video. Today's expression is so useful, especially if you have a goal or a dream. If there's something you want to do, if there's something you want to learn, something you want to accomplish, something you want to achieve, you need stick to a tip stick to itiveness now some people they have natural talent so they do a little bit of practice and they're very good at something but most people we need to really study and we need to fail we need to make mistakes we need to have problems and then we need to overcome those problems we need to learn how to solve those problems and then we continue to grow and become very talented but that's not easy because if you fail if you have a problem it's much easier to give up that's enough ah american english pronunciation Blech, forget it. I, the R sound, I can't do the R sound. The SH, the CH, whatever. SZ, blah, 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 I don't know. Listening to American movies? Get out of here. Too many expressions, too many phrasal verbs. Blah, it's easy to give up. And if you do, you'll never succeed in English or whatever that area is. But if you have stick to you're gonna succeed. Check out the dialogue. Oh, did you hear John? His English is great. Oh, I know! How did he do it? An American girlfriend? <laughs> no. Stick to my friend. Huh. I should start again, huh? Stick to is so important in success in any area of life in your relationship in your money in your job in your school in your studies in your hobbies in your habits developing good habits stick to itiveness what does stick to itiveness means it means to stick to it to stick to something means to get there and stay there to not give up to not let go stick to means tenacity to be able to continue to do it and progress to to be strong stick to we can also say perseverance determination dedication stamina persistence all of these words mean basically the same thing but in daily english we say stick to itiveness now stick to itiveness we can say stick dash to dash itiveness there are many types of spellings one word broken up into hyphens three pieces i think it doesn't matter personally i prefer one word but it seems like most people on the internet use one hyphen so i'm giving you the one hyphen version stick to itiveness uh, having stick to itiveness is not easy. Once again, I can talk about my Korean language. I had stick to itiveness. I did think about the Korean language every day for 20 years, over 20 years, and I got to an excellent, very high level. Smoking, however, was different. I wanted to quit, and I would quit sometimes for two days, three days, a week, two weeks, two hours, one hour. I didn't have stick to itiveness eventually but I didn't give up okay I, I gave up for the moment but I still kept it in my head I've got to do it I've got to do it eventually you have to do it but you need to keep that stick to itiveness so even though you study something you try to quit smoking you try to get English pronunciation you try to learn something you try to get a promotion even though you fail I understand you can take a break but just remember when you fail remember you're not giving up you're gonna you're gonna do it again you're not you, you may have fallen but you're still hanging in there you need to hang in there you need to stick to it and you need to start again and I understand sometimes you need a week a month a year 
to take a break and get your energy and, and get that power and courage, get that motivation. I understand, but don't give up, especially in things that are important to you, in your relationships. It's the biggest area. Don't give up. Work hard. Some relationships are bad. Move on. Get a new one. But uh, if, you're, if you're, for example, if you're married with children, uh, I think that's a pretty important thing. stick to itiveness is a very important thing. Think about the values of success. Whether it's the English language. It's tough. Sometimes it's tough. But think about the value of achieving great English skills. Maybe you can have more friends, maybe you can learn more things, maybe you can get a job promotion, a different job. Maybe you can travel the world, watch movies, read books, listen to music without any problem. How nice would that be if you could master a language? Not just English, maybe it's Russian. Maybe you want to master Russian. Great, but you got to stick to it. You're going to fail, you're going to have problems, you might need a break, but stick to it is key. And I'm here for you. I've been here online for, I don't know, five, six years. But I've been here teaching English since 1987. I'm not going anywhere. It's going to be 30 years next year. 30 years next year. Uh, and I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to continue because my goal is to help you and all your friends, everybody, become ambassadors of your country and your culture and help teach the world about who you are and where you're from. That is going to make the world a pretty cool place if we can teach each other and be friends, have a language that we can communicate in. That's pretty cool. That's my goal. Anyway, that's what I'm sticking to. That's my big thing. So stick to has helped me a lot. And I know it's helped you. Leave some examples down below. Things that you are going to stick to, how you're going to stick to it, uh, when your stick to stick to itiveness is weak, and how your stick to itiveness is with English right now. Tell us. Leave a message down below. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Oh, did you hear John? His English is great. Oh, I know. How did he do it? An American girlfriend? <laughs> no. Stick to itiveness, my friend. Huh. I should start again, huh? Oh, did you hear John? His English is great. Oh, I know. How did he do it? An American girlfriend? <laughs> no. Stick to itiveness, my friend. Huh. I should start again, huh? Oh, did you hear John? His English is great. Oh, I know. How did he do it? An American girlfriend? <laughs> no. Stick to itiveness, my friend.